Hey there, YouTube. This is Cloud9 back again with Hack the Site Mission 8. Basic Mission 8, sorry. Okay, so. Um, the password is yet again hidden in an unknown file. Sam's daughter has begun learning PHP. Oh, God. Noobs in PHP. And has a small script to demonstrate her knowledge. Requirements? Knowledge of server side includes, or SSI. Dynamic HTML executed by the server rather than the browser. Okay. So let me explain that real quick because you may not be familiar. Um, as we talked about in the last video, server side includes what you're doing is you are executing code on the um, host machine on the uh, server by tricking or bypassing filters, and you're kind of tricking the code because it, what it's doing is it's, it's expecting an input, but it's not expecting you to put code in there. So when you do put code in there, it's just an interpreter. It's just going to execute it. So if there happens to be an ls dash a in there, it's it's going to happen. So um, dynamic HTML executed by the server rather than the browser. What that basically means is that um, stuff on the server may be changing constantly. Uh, a blog is a good you know, a uh, good explanation of that, or a forum. It's dynamic. It has to have a back-end system managing it all the time. PHP is unbelievably perfect for that because it was designed with that in mind. So, basically what he's doing, or what she's doing, is she's got a PHP script that is processing some stuff and doing an output. So, let's use this script real quick and see how it works. Um, so, let's just say, fuck off. Alright, so it says right here, level 8.php, your file has been saved, please click here to view the file. Hi, fuck off. Your name contains error characters. So what the PHP script is doing, which is completely irrelevant, but I'm going to explain it anyway, is it's counting the number of letters in the array that it was given, and it's returning it with an echo. Echo, your name contains, and then there's a variable that's probably like, you know, money sign, whatever. So it's spitting that back out at you. Well, ha where there is a script, there is always exploitation. So, let's go ahead and try that ls again. Remember, this isn't Perl anymore. This is a PHP script. So, no. The PHP script is actually a little more secure than Perl. Perl is kind of like a, um, a dummy version of PHP. They're very similar in a lot of ways, but PHP just naturally is a little more secure than Perl in some ways. So... We need to talk about server-side includes then, because how are we going to execute a command on a server without it, you know, without being able to, you know, put bad stuff in the script? And, you know, one of these ways that you could even try would be, uh, you know, script, alert, XSS. That's cross-site scripting. That's one way, but it filters it, and that's what I was talking about with escaping characters. It filters it, so... <coughs> we need to figure out how to get around that filter... Well, there's a couple ways. One way would be server-side includes. Um, what you're doing is you're actually executing code on the server because, see this form right here? It's not locked down by the PHP. The script itself is escaping the characters, but this right here, there's no security on this form. So if the server's running on Apache and they're using what PHP as a back end to run commands or to filter... One script may filter something correctly, but not everything may. That's how you exploit websites. You know, the um, the fade, the page fetcher script may, you know, it may filter correctly if you try to use some XSS or some, like, you know, you know, some script injection, but another script on the page may not do the same thing. So what we're doing here is we're trying to work at finding a way to around this. So we're going to do something called server-side in inclusion, okay? What you're doing is you're actually running a literal bash command from the form because when the server retrieves it, it processes it, and it says, oh, fuck, that's code, I need to run it. That is your command right there. All right, and if you head to Google and type in server-side includes you can find a whole big spiel about it, I'm sure. Nothing that I would read, all this garbage, but... Anyway, you can find something about it, yeah, in here. So, this will tell you all about it, I'm not going to sit here and explain it to you, it's taking me two days to do it. But, take some time on your own, research it, it is very important because you can use it in many different ways. Everything you learn, whether you use it every day or not, is always important because there will be a time when it comes up and you won't fucking know it. And it'll be the day that you don't have internet. So, you know. 
just remember this command right here and all it is is what these do is um you, you remember how I was telling you about escaping characters well when you escape characters you're filtering things but there's ways to kind of trick it even though there are certain characters escaped you can still confuse it by throwing characters in there like wild characters it has no idea how to handle it like PHP or no like SQL you throw a quote in there it's got it's already got a quote so it, it now it doesn't know what the fuck to do it has no idea what to do now because it's already got a quote now you've given it another quote it's like what the fuck so many quotes so what this is doing is it's doing the exact same thing you've got your parentheses or your um, bracket and your exclamation and you're quite literally just confusing it you're stopping it and saying hey look there's a command in here and it goes oh shit there is let me execute that so that's quite literally what it's doing you're just using escaped well unescaped characters to confuse the engine that processes it so if you just click submit when you enter that oh jesus sorry um some of you might have trouble with this because there is a very very specific way you have to do it or else it won't execute correctly Um, and sorry about that. Oh, God. Sorry, hold on. Uh, one more thing I need to explain before I let this go. Or else you'll be here all day. Why isn't this working? Do I have to put eight? What did I do wrong here? Oh, it's confusing me. I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, okay. Sorry, I screwed up the uh, script. Um, actually, what I was going to show you is for mission number nine, so we'll do that next. But um, that's the script right there. I'll I'll post it in the uh, description too, if I can. YouTube might uh, escape those characters or that type of stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, go research it. Look it up. It's really useful and it's cool. All right, bye bye.